Okay, this is Craig Ship, craigship.com and techtvshow.com, and I'm going to do a quick run through of Google Plus. Um, it's a relatively new thing to a lot of people. It's been out for about a year. Um, I was fortunate enough to get an invite right in the very beginning uh, from Lisa Bettany, um, and I've been in since um, within the first two weeks of the trial. It started about a year ago. And um, so, those of us that have been in a long time, this is all old hat those of you that are just getting into it it can be a little confusing and it's still early days compared to a lot of social networks so it can be a little awkward I'm showing you my Gmail inbox right now the reason I'm showing you this this is an easy way to get to Google Plus is if you have a Gmail account in the upper left hand corner it'll say plus in your name sometimes it'll say plus and then YOU if you've not set up the Google Plus account but you click on that that will open up, and by the way, I'm using the Chrome browser, which I prefer, the Google Chrome browser. It's a free download. Um, but I clicked on that, and it opened up another tab with my Google Plus stream in it. Um, and this is, in the upper left-hand corner, they have a home button. Now, your buttons might not be in the same order. These buttons can be grabbed and dragged around, okay? So you can move them to the order that you want them in, these reactive buttons on the left-hand side, and I'll go into those in a minute. But basically the default is when you go in, it's showing you what they call your stream, which on Facebook would be the same thing as your news feed or whatever they call it on Facebook, the, the Twitter feed. It's everything um, coming down here, all the postings from people that you have circled. And I'll get into the circling here in a moment. Um, now, if I click on profile on the left, that will go to a page that is basically my profile page. And if you want to share with somebody your URL on Google+, or how to find you on Google+, one way to do it is to highlight this URL up here, plus.google.com, slash u, slash zero, and this long number, and then slash posts. Highlight that whole thing, copy it, and just email it to them. If they go to that URL, they will go to your public profile page on Google+. And you can make whatever portions of your about information and so forth public that you wish. You can have a very small amount public. You can have everything public. So that's all in your settings. Um, and I, I'm not going to go into that in great detail, but I'm going to go to my about page here. And you can see here there's different sections that tells about me. And um, some of this is public and some of it is not. Um, it's not a big deal that people have my phone number here or my email. Um, that's not actually on my public stream. It's going to be on this video. Hey, give me a call if you'd like. Um, but uh, you control whatever people, whatever John Q. Public sees. Uh, you can control it by clicking on Edit Profile here, and then you can go into each section and edit it and tell what is public and what is, is not. But again, I'm not going to get into a lot of that right now. I'm just going to get into the basic ways you use Google+. Plus. Um, You'll notice on the left here, it's saying that there's 4,106 people in my circles. 8,287 people have circled me. So that means that 8,287 people have decided to add me to one of their circles because they like my content or they like what I post or whatever, and they want it to be in their, their feed, um, of their, their home uh, feed that I showed you earlier. They want my postings to appear there. So they've added me to a circle. And I'm going to show you how you circle somebody here in a minute. Um, so then I've circled 4106, which means I view their content. And so here's one. Here's Paige Clark. She's the host of the Pageant Live show that we do Monday nights uh, at 8 p.m. And so she's in one of my circles. She's actually in several of my circles. And I can add her to more circles if I wish. Um, you, you can have people in as many circles as you as you like. So um, if I go back to my home screen here and I see things streaming through here, here's Dave Beckerman. So if I click on his name, that will take me to his profile. And this up here, this little green box, is telling me that he's in three of my circles. Okay. If I wanted to add him to my family circle, I just click here and now he's in my family circle. But since he's not family, I'm going to uncheck that. So you can have as many circles as you want and name them whatever you want. And you can organize people into those circles so that you can keep track of who they are and what they're all about. So if I click on my circles here, 
you can see here that I have a bunch of different circles. I have family, I have acquaintances, I have something called randos, which is just random people uh, that I haven't really categorized yet. I have area guides, I have government, I have new media, I have pageant, I have photography, I have Scobalizer, I have Twit, which is this week in tech, Google, Hangout, Florida, Frederick. So you can organize people into these various circles. So if I click on friends here, this circle will come up, and these are these are all people that are friends, people I've met in real life that I know, so on and so forth. <clears throat> Excuse me. Should have had some water here. Um, and so each each circle has a different purpose, and I'll get into how you use these circles later. But it, it's a big advantage of Google Plus to be able to quickly and easily organize people in the circles. So now I'm going to go back to my home screen. And the way you work, the, the way I use circles most effectively is if I want to send a message out, if I want to post something, if you click here in the share what's new box, I can share with just one person. So let's say I want to share something with Paige. I can type plus Paige, and then her name will pop up, and anybody's names you know, that start with page will pop up there. And I'm going to click on Paige Clark. She's in five circles. I know that's the one I want to message. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to say, great show last night. Now, <clears throat> if I want that to just go to Paige, I'm good to go. Because right now it's saying here that it's going to go to Paige Clark. And it says, plus add more people. I haven't added anybody else. So if I click share right now, this would just go to page. It would be like an email or a direct message right to her. Now, I can also click on the little camera icon here and I can add a photo to it. Okay, um, I can add something from the phone, I guess. I usually add photos here. Um, this other one on the right here is for a video. I can add a YouTube video. And the other one is to add a link. Okay, so I can add a link. So if I want to put a link to her website, I can put pageantlive.com in there <clears throat> and it'll put a little thumbnail. So I could go ahead and click share and this would go right to her. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't particularly want to message her. I already messaged her earlier so um, I don't want to spam up her inbox. But I want to show you also how I could add more people to this if I want to do I just click in this box and type pageant. So let's say I want to send it to my pageant live circle. Those are all the people that come into that show. Now this message is going to Paige Clark and Pageant Live. Okay, so I can control completely who I share whatever it is I'm sharing with. A video, a comment, whatever. Now let's say I want to send this to everybody. I want to make it public. So I can type public in here and right there it's got the globe and the word public. If I click that, now all of a sudden I've got a green public thing in here. So now I know if I click share, it's going to go out to anybody that wants to monitor the public feed on Google+. It's going to be searchable on the internet. It's going to be out there for the world to see. So if it's something you really want to put out there, go ahead, tag it public. I can also, I can, well, by the way, I can get rid of any of these by just clicking on the little X next to them. So if I want to just send it to my circles, all of my circles, I can click it, your circles is a choice there. Now it's going to send this message to all my circles. Okay, so that's how you post content on Google+. And you can think of Google+, as almost a blog. There are people that use Google+, as their blog. There are people that use Google+, as their website. So if I go to my profile here, you can see here, these are the things that I've posted. And they can include inserted slideshows. Here's a photo slideshow. Here's a, a hangout we had. This was actually the pageant live show that we recorded last night. Here it is. And I can click right here, and this can play right here in the browser. Can you all see me? Yes. You look great, uh, and your, your audio is fine. My computer, I don't know what's going on, but it keeps going so this off was the, show. the screen. So it closes it. That. So this was the show last night, and it's posted in here. And now people can comment on this, people can reshare it, people can what's called plus one it. And this is important, I'm going to go over this. Um, if you click the plus one here, that will tell people that you acknowledged it, you, you like it, whatever, sort of like on Facebook. Then there's an arrow to the right that says share this post. If I click on that, that will allow, allow me to share this post 
to, to repost it basically. And so for example, if I was on somebody else's uh, page, which, which I'm going to do that just to illustrate this a little better. I'm going to go to um, Paige's page, okay, and scroll down to one of her postings. Okay, so here's a posting that she put to Christine Foster. So if I wanted to reshare this, I could click on this arrow right here, and boom, it's going to pull up a box, share this post. I could add a comment, and I click here, and I say who I want to share it with. Again, my circles, public, friends, family, whatever, whoever I want to share it with and then let's say your circles then I could click share and it would share this post right into my postings so it's like I'm taking her posting and sharing it to my people because it's important to me or whatever so that's how you it's sort of like retweeting a Twitter post that's how you take something that's how something goes viral is a whole bunch of people start resharing it and so then it goes and it just spreads all around so if you're posting something and you want people to know about it, then you want reshares. You want people to reshare it. Okay? So, so there's three things I can do to her posting here. I can plus one it, which I'll do right now. I can reshare it, which I just showed you how you do that. I can start a hangout about the post. I could even click this button and start a hangout to discuss this posting, which is really kind of cool. So if you think about what's going on here with Google+, there's a lot going on that's really cool, that's really powerful. And those of us that got in early and embraced this really see that there's no comparison between Facebook and Google+. I mean, Google+, just absolutely kills Facebook. Um, and and to, to my way of thinking, even Twitter, any of the so-called social networks, this is just head and shoulders above it. So. Um, so I'm going to show you how I want to add somebody to the circle. She's got Lauren here in her circle. So I'm going to click on Lauren's name. <clears throat> and I'm going to click on the About page. She's a fitness instructor in Palo Alto, California. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add her to a circle here. And I don't know if I have a fitness circle. If I don't, I think I should make one because fitness is very important. And I'm looking through here. I don't think I have a fitness circle. I got dance, I got travel, I got law, I got Russia, I got just about everything but fitness. So I'm going to create a fitness circle. Okay. It's creating the circle and it just put her in it. I've got one person in my fitness circle. So now, if I want to know about fitness or I want to talk to somebody about fitness or whatever, I can just go to my fitness circle and she's in there. And, and hopefully over time, there'll be more people in there. And then if I need to interact with them, I can. So let's, let's look at another example. Let's go back again to Paige's profile. <clears throat> okay, here we are. And I'm gonna, it says 96 in her circles. I'm gonna say view all. And by the way, you don't have to show who is who you have circled. That's in a setting. You can either have that be displayed or not be displayed. You can have it be displayed that just to people you've circled or have it displayed to everybody. So we can see a lot of people that she has circled, I also have circled because you can see them showing up in green here. Like it says six circles, Sarah Hills in six of my circles. Um, and so and by the way, I want to talk about Sarah Hill. So let's go to her profile. I'm going to click on her name. Again, clicking on the name generally takes you right to their profile. So here's Sarah Hill. And she was an early adopter. And you can see up here in the left, next to her name, there's a little check mark. That means she's verified by Google Plus that she is the real Sarah Hill. Then you can see two little arrows. I hope you can see that that there's two arrows facing each other and if I hover my mouse over it says you are in Sarah Hill, Hill circle 2. So if there was just one arrow there it would mean that I had circled her but she has not circled me. So people do not have to circle you back. It's not like Facebook where if you're a friend you're both friends and you're it's a it's it's two-way thing you you have if you're a friend to somebody they have to be your friend. It's not like that. I can circle her but she does not have to circle me. So um it's sort of like subscribing to somebody's public feed, but if you're if you circle somebody, you're going to see their postings. If they circle you, they will also see your postings, but they do not have to circle you if they don't want to. 
And um, I am very lucky because you can see here she's got 1,200,000 or whatever have circled her. So she's been circled by, you know, one and a quarter million people. And she has only circled 4,749. So she circled a pretty small percentage of the people that have circled her, and so I feel fortunate that she has has circled me. Um, but I can go to the About page again, and it tells you all about Sarah Hill and what she's up to and so on. She does newscasts, and she uses Google Plus Hangouts to interact with people while she's doing her newscast. It's really a fantastic use for Google Plus Hangout. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show real quick how we do a Hangout. If I click on the Hangouts button on the left, and again, your buttons might not be in the same order as this. You can drag them to whatever order you want. If I click on Hangout, and then I click on Start a Hangout, it's going to pull up a box here. And I can type a name in for the Hangout test. Okay, and I can invite your circles. I can make it even more. I can say public. Okay, and then um, I can say Hangout, and that would create the Hangout and post it so that people can come in. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't really want to create a Hangout and have just anybody come in. But what I might do, just show you how the Hangout works, is I might um, join one here. Paul is in a Hangout, or he might be. Let's see if it's still active. Okay, so I'm going to join this Hangout. Oh, is it been a, like, like bikinis and summery, like, like super summer clothes? Uh-oh, I, I could be in trouble. Um, I'm, no, no, I'm talking about, I'm, I'm boxing up. Like, no, I'm, I'm doing a quick um, screencast showing people how to use Google+. Plus. Okay. And I just popped in just for a second to show them how the Hangout works. I've already gone through the circling and the everything. I looked on YouTube and there weren't any good recent how-to's. All of them are kind of out of date, so the interface yeah. doesn't look right and all of that stuff. So I'm just doing a little real basics how-to. Yeah. So well, you can take a screen cap. Do you want my cat? Uh, yeah, hold your yeah. kitty cat. Up. Well, this is part. I think now. I don't know. I think it's getting this window. This window is over top of my main window, and I think it is getting this window because I did my desktop. So I think it is. So. Annika is a, is a, I want to call her a rocket scientist. She's really a ro robotics scientist. A roboticist. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so, a weird word. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I want to, I always want to say rocket scientist because I want to brag that I actually know a rocket scientist. I know rocket scientists. <laughs> I have friends that are, that are literally rocket scientists. There you go. And then we've got Paul in here and he's hanging out and we, we have three people in this hangout. We could have a total of 10. And this Hangout could also be what's called an on-air Hangout, which would mean it would be streaming live on YouTube, which this one is not. Um, but if it was an on-air, it would also be streaming live on YouTube so people could watch it. And it's recorded simultaneously on YouTube, which is really cool that Google is doing all of that. I don't know how they're... You can they're, have up to 400,000 viewers. Yeah, I don't know how they're able to handle it, but they're doing it. And so who am I to question them? Um, so, Paul, did you have anything real quick to say about Hangouts before I dodge back out of here? Yeah, Hangouts are great for having fun or doing business, either way. I mean, if you have like a work group, they're great because you can coordinate and share screens and share Google Docs. And uh, they have all kinds of plugins and add ons for Hangouts. So. Yeah, it's like a free version of GoToMeeting, really. It's really better than GoToMeeting because of the, to me, it's better because of the Google Docs integration, you know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Go, and also because YouTube as you don't well. have to pay for it. Yeah. yeah the other yeah. thing that I like that's better than GoToMeeting is you log into your Google account and you join a Hangout. There's no, there's no keys. There's no anything. Like, in the past, yeah. I've used different platforms to coordinate, like, you know, 20 different people mm -hmm. all to kind of see the same stream. And it's such a nightmare. You're emailing passwords. You're emailing, you yeah. know, you're constantly texting each other. Okay, wait, we're over here. But with this, you just, you log in and. 
But we do yeah, have to remember that new it? new people coming into Google Plus are still having some problems getting through the hurdles and getting into Google Plus because I work with a lot of new people and to us it's old hat. We've been doing it for a year, but yeah. to some of them it's still a little bit difficult. And that's and why you can I do join it. from your phone. You just yeah. have to get an invite in order to view from your phone. Yeah. But I think that's really neat that it works so, over um, over so, the network. So we need them to add the phone. Uh, capability on air. We need them to add that, and we need them to add the YouTube capability on air also. And the other really big thing mm -hmm. is if you're going to use this for work, uh, the one of the biggest complaints I hear is that you can't uh, stream and record to a different YouTube channel. And so your Google Plus identity is tied to your YouTube channel yeah, yeah, because it's yeah. all one account. Yeah. So if I'm using this for personal and I want to switch over to business, I need to be able to stream and record that to my business YouTube channel, not my personal one, especially yeah, if I'm using it for work. Yeah, you should be able to put in your credentials and log into a different account. Yeah. Is what you're saying. That would yeah. be good. That, yeah. that would be yeah. perfect for me. I'd quit using Ustream and Justin TV for all my robotic stuff. Yeah. Because I don't want all my all my professional stuff linked to this account. I want it on my professional account. Sure, sure. All right. Well, hey, thanks, everybody. And uh, I'm going to dodge out and continue this screencast. And hopefully people will know how to use Google Plus when we're done. Thanks. Great Bye. job. Great Bye -bye. job. Bye bye. OK, so I hope we um, I hope we recorded all of that. We will find out when this is completed. Um, but this again, this was just a quick overview. And again, Remember how you post, you go to your home, you click on your little home button here, and and I have this old posting in here that I didn't really want to post, so let me see if I can X out of that. Okay, so if I click and share what's new, I just type whatever I want, uh, test, and I just click in here, I select who I want to send it to, my circles, uh, public, whatever I want to do, if I want to attach a photo, I click here and I browse to the photos and I can add a photo and then I just click share and that's how I post. If I want to share somebody else's posting, let's go to Mike Downs here. He always has a lot of good stuff. Um, here's something from Reuters, Italy earthquake, blah, blah, blah. So if I wanted to, I'll plus one it right now. If I wanted to share this in my stream, I would just click this arrow and then I would add a comment. I would add who I want to share it to. Remember, that's an important step. You define who you want to share it to. I'm going to say public. And then I would just click share. And that would post it into my stream. I'm not going to post this right now because I, I don't I, I don't post a, repost a lot of other people's postings. Some people do that a lot. I generally post my own original content. Um, but I do occasionally repost. If something is really, really cool, I will repost it. Um, so anyway, that... Um, that's a quick overview of Google Plus, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I hope that you embrace Google Plus, and um, and I hope I see you around on Google Plus. And you can go to my website, craigship.com, for a lot of tips and tricks and so forth how to use the internet. And there's a link there to my uh, Google Plus uh, profile page as well. Thanks for listening, and I'm going to stop this screencast right now.